One of the most important things you can do to protect yourself from possible trouble when buying a secondhand Volvo XC90 is to perform a comprehensive check for water leaks. Some owners have reported inadequate sealing of the XC90's windshield, roof rails, or other components which may allow water to leak and collect within the cabin. Culprits may include a faulty windshield seal, inadequate sealing of the roof rails, misaligned doors, or a problem with the sunroof drainage system. Some owners have reported water leaks, many have not. In any case, be on the lookout during your test drive. Dampness, mildew, or pooled water in the vehicle's footwell carpeting, as well as water dripping out of an opened door, are possible trouble signs. Do not buy a used XC90 until you've checked all interior carpeting for signs of moisture, dampness, and water staining. Remove all floor mats, press your hand or a rag into the carpeting beneath, and lift the cargo area floor, removing anything beneath it, to check for signs of pooled water beneath the cargo area too. Water leaks are never a good time, and while Volvo did issue recalls to correct these issues on affected models, you'll want to be sure that recall work was performed if applicable for maximum peace of mind. Contact a dealer to see if the unit you're considering is affected. Remember, water leaks can cost you a lot of money, and you should take this check seriously. That was tip number one. My name's Justin Pritchard for Driving.ca, and I've got four more tips coming up to help you find a first-class copy of a second-hand Volvo XC90. Available with three seating rows, all units came powered by a four-cylinder engine with various combinations of turbocharging, supercharging, and hybrid electrification. Models designated T5 got a 254-horsepower turbo engine, while T6 models added both a supercharger and turbocharger for 320 horsepower. The high-performance XC90 T8 is a plug-in hybrid, adding electrification to enable all-electric driving for shorter trips while bumping output to a hearty 400 horsepower. Tip number two. You might be set on the XC90 T8 for its plug-in hybrid power and fuel-saving capabilities. If that's the case, just be sure to fully inspect all charging provisions, like the included charger and cable, for signs of damage or wear that could pose a safety hazard and cost you money. You'll want to triple check the charge door for proper operation. Be sure to connect the vehicle to a charger for a few minutes to make sure no warning or error messages appear in the instrument cluster. And finally, have the vehicle seen by a hybrid certified Volvo technician before you buy for maximum peace of mind. For loads more information, pricing, specs, reviews, photos, and videos on this generation XC90, head on over to driving.ca or click the link in the description below. You'll find a hub of valuable new information on this model. Tip number three, do not take delivery of your secondhand XC90 until you've confirmed that it cruises at low, moderate, and highway speeds smoothly and without any unwanted vibrations. Some owners say frustrating vibrations may appear at certain speeds or on certain surfaces and in some cases may be significant enough to cause the steering wheel or seats to shake. Though the owner's community reports mixed results in having unwanted vibrations dealt with, some have had luck with wheel balancing, alignments, or replacing tires. Some owners have reported vibration troubles, many have not. These can be a sign of sometimes serious problems that could cost you money, so check carefully for them and if you notice any problems, proceed with caution. Tip number four, assume that the remaining warranty coverage on the model you're considering has been voided by its previous owner until you have proof to the contrary. Maintaining a used vehicle's warranty in good standing requires strict adherence to all factory prescribed maintenance, inspections, and fluid changes. Do not underestimate the ability of a past owner to void remaining warranty coverage by skipping or stretching these maintenance intervals. Always check all service records before buying, otherwise you could be in for a pricey surprise if you need a warranty repair. Tip number five, though problems are reported rarely, some owners have experienced trouble with transmissions and central command interfaces with software updates being listed as a common remedy. Software updates are sometimes used to improve or correct the operation of vehicle systems and they're often applied while vehicles are in for service at their dealership. If you're buying a used XC90 that's been regularly dealer serviced, there's a strong chance that updates and improvements like these have been applied already. If you're finding this video useful, please consider leaving a like down below and clicking on the subscribe and notify icon so that you never miss a new upload. And finally, remember that a weak or dying battery can cause a slew of issues as well, and that replacing that weak or dying battery can fend off a multitude of headaches. Your dealer's service department has more details. 
These tips are designed to help test driving shoppers more easily identify possible trouble areas reported by some owners. An attentive test drive and shopping process that focuses on the areas we just talked about can help make sure that you find a first-class copy of a second-hand Volvo XC90. I'm Justin Pritchard for Driving.ca. Until next time, take care and drive safe.